Okay, so we just finished with the roundabouts. Let's proceed now to the intersections. Okay, so what does the standard says about the intersection sliding design? Okay, let's proceed with this IES and A requirements. You can see those um, uh, those dots that are hatch are the required for partial lighting and those the one without hatch are the additional units for continuous lighting. So that is for this IESNA requirements. So it will be located on the curve or on the on the four sides of the intersections. While here in BS5489, so for this British standard, it says that for the intersections or crossroads, the luminaires are at least with a little setback from the middle part of the road. Okay, so you can follow either way. The most important thing is for you to get this CE standards for road intersections, which is from 7.5 lux to 50 lux with an overall uniformity of 0.4. Okay, so this is very easy because like what we did in the roundabout lighting design, you just need to create a box in the middle of the yellow box or in the intersection and then uh, we need to make sure that we achieve at least 7.5 or 50 lux but the overall uniformity is the most important but we will not going to discuss that way because intersection is just a regular road lighting or a regular roundabout the most important part of the intersection is these pedestrian lanes okay so we're going to discuss this pedestrian lanes because it has a specific value that we need to consider okay so for the pedestrian lane we will need at least 75 blocks or some some manufacturer or some standards they require at least 80 locks so if the intersection is 50 locks your pedestrian lane must be at least 75 blocks it must be higher on the intersection middle ground so I, I will show you some of this lighting calculation on the pedestrian using a different luminaire. And uh, we need to achieve this kind of lux value. And it should have an overall uniformity of 0.7. So aside from creating a calculation surface in the middle of uh, the intersection, we need to also create a calculation surface or points on the pedestrian path. And we should achieve 75 blocks some manufacturers said that for pedestrian at least 80 locks um, but i think um 75 is enough okay so let's go and try this one using our dialux evo software okay so let's go now and run a lighting design calculation for a intersection and also for the pedestrian let's go Okay, so I'm opening now my Dialux Evo software and instead of using street lighting, we are now going to use the outdoor and building planning because this is more about outdoor lighting now. And I will use this image as a base plan so we will have a guide for a pedestrian lane. Okay, so I'll go now here and file and then I will import that plan and I will get that picture and I will say next and then I will measure this one as say this is seven seven I will measure this one as 14 meters wide carriageway and I will type 14 meters and there you go finish and then I will measure it just to, to double check okay so it's 14 meters wide road or carriageway and then we will place our um, intersection lighting design calculations here and let's go for higher one which is the 50 lux and then we will have 75 lux on the pedestrian okay so let's go now and create go to the calculation objects tab and then draw a rectangular cal calculation object so we will start with the intersection first and then i will label this one as intersection Positioning, okay, let's just make it 13.5, just to make it precise. And then parameter will be an or horizontal and also, okay, let's just make it horizontal illuminance because of the lux value requirements is 50 lux. 
and then I will make the spacing to be one by one meter calculation grid point I will open the false color and the value chart and then I'll go and create a new one which is for the pedestrians so I'll go here from here to here up to the other side and then I will label this one as pedestrian and then positioning will be 3.3 by 18 13.85 so I'll just make this one as 3.5 meters wide and then this one is 14 meters calculation parameters will be horizontal perpendicular and also uh, cylindrical illumination because of the facial recognition and let's just keep the height offset as 1.6 meters and also let's go for the horizontal and the setting for the measuring grid is let's make it 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 okay let's just keep this one more strict than the uh, intersection requirements okay so let's put our luminaire now i'll go to torn and click this pedestrian crossing luminaire i'll click this uld file and save it then i'll click it here at the bottom now it will be part of my dialogs evo and then i will place those luminaire because of the requirements that luminaire should be on the two sides of the pedestrian lane so it will achieve a good overall uniformity which is 0.7 lux okay so let's do that so place the luminar here open your photometric um, light distribution curve so you can see the orientation of the luminar and then i will place some street lighting here in the corner and we will just follow the suggestions from bs5489 which is in the corner or you can also follow this iesna which is more closer to the corner Okay, so let's just grab any street light here in our collections. Okay, so I'll use this one. It has 55 watt. I think this is the one we used previously. And then I'll just place it here at the corner. Then let's have the height of this fitting as 8 meters. Because it's a 4 lane or 2 lane with a median. So it's a 4 lane road. So let's just keep a four, uh, 8 meters. Okay, so I think our our design is too much 